Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I am a reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, Kitizen, and a little bit on eBay. I am absolutely making it a goal to start cross-posting to eBay come the new year because Poshmark can't seem to get its crap together. But anyway, I love mystery boxes. I am always up for trying new companies and 99% of the time, they're no good. But if you have a company that you like that you've not seen me unbox from, I'd love for you to drop it down below. I'm always willing to take one for the team. Maybe there's a company you've never ordered from that you would like to see someone order from. I usually will do that for you. Uh, but ThreadUp, ThreadUp is the one I just keep coming back to because while there are some not so great boxes, most of the time, they're pretty decent. Now you will have know by now you clicked on this video. I have got a shoe box. I used to get this box a lot more often. Some are great and some are downright garbage, but that's the risk that you take. Uh, my last one that I unboxed, I think it was the last one was pretty awful, mostly Target and the stuff that they stopped accepting, but there was one pair of fry booties, shooties, heels i don't know and those sold and paid for the whole box so you never know what you're gonna find um i only ordered this because i feel like there's we're still in that people don't know that they don't take target or they don't care and they're still sending i watch a lot of these unboxings and it seems like people either get really great boxes or junk there's like no in the between so i decided to take the risk and order this i ordered it on black friday because they had 15, I think, percent off of DIY boxes. This is the only one I bought. I used self-control. So I believe I paid $68 and change. You can see the breakdown down below. Uh, there should be 15 pairs. Sometimes they send an extra, uh, but I will put my cost of goods down in the description and exactly what I paid. They're usually $80, which is about $6 a pair when you factor in the taxes. I don't pay shipping. Some people do if you haven't spent as much money as I have on thread up, but this came from Swanee, Georgia. So I used to think that there was a theory that some boxes from some locations are better than others, but these days it's just kind of pure luck. So let's dig in. I will tell you, I had to have my husband put this up on the chair and bring it in off the front porch. It's heavy, heavier than usual. I don't think it says how much it weighs, mm -mm. but it's, it's heavy. So I hope that means maybe there's a pair or two of boots in here decent boots all right so here it is you can tell it's from georgia because it has lots of bubbles 68 dollars. i was right so 68 instead of 80 it's the only reason i was willing to take the risk right now because i don't need inventory but you guys seem to like the shoe unboxings and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I just hit 4,000 subscribers, by the way, like last week. And so thank you. Thank you guys who follow along with our crazy journey over here. Um, but I have been trying to start doing 90 day updates and trying to get faster. Let me just get this out of the way. At listing these things and uh, starting the count for my 90 day. It also helps me keep better track of what's coming in these boxes as it forces me to sit down and type them all into my inventory quickly. All right, we've got lots of bubbles here. I appreciate those, I always reuse them. First look doesn't look so good. I can't really show you, but there you go. Um, this might've been a, a mistake, but it's fine. All right, here we go. These look like some no name, They don't feel good. They're splendid, which I, I only know because I know the logo because you can barely read it in there, which I think you can actually find splendid stuff at like Nordstrom Rack, but there's no size, no other info. Yeah, it's just completely blank in there. Oh wait, I lie. I had to, usually stuff's here, but it's written here. All right, it does say they're a leather, a leather upper, made in China, rubber sole, size nine, but I don't know. I would probably list them because they're listable. They're not, but maybe I'll just try to get my $6 back. There is a little bit of, they just don't feel good. It says they're leather, but I'm gonna take it. Let me try not to be negative. So there you go, pair number one. Ooh, okay. These have a 10 on the bottom. Again, they're probably, yep, they're Marona. Target, 
and not even new target. If they were Universal Thread or a New Day, it might be okay, but they're Marona, so they're quite old. They've, but again, I will probably list them probably not on Mercari or Kitizen because they're heavy, but I'll probably just list them on Posh and maybe get a couple dollars for them. Maybe somebody has these and likes them and because they're so old they're, or they're worn out. And at least on Posh, I have that shipping, so. All right, where is a match? Here we go. These are Toms. I have a hard time moving Toms, any Toms. I have some really cute wedges and little booties. They're not moving. These are size seven and a half, if I, I think I said that. Um, they've got some marks. Oh yeah, this one's in worse condition. And this is the material, it's pretty hard to clean up. So these will probably end up in a death pile and uh, I should probably just donate them. All right, I just don't see matches. All right, here we go. We have a pair of Dolce Vita faux fur, dyed faux fur, uh, yeah. Size 10, everything is man-made. Just a pair of little slides. They were worn, but the top and the footbed actually looks pretty decent. So let me see the front, the toes, the, they, look, they look good. I'll just wipe them down. I'll probably list those. Thankfully the cost of goods will be a little less because it was on sale, but all right. These, yikes. These are some old, beat up Nicole Miller shoes. Like the inside, this is all peeling. They're size eight, but I won't list these. These will definitely, I don't mind listing like the lower end, not so great stuff, but these are just too beat up to even list. So there's our donate. isn't looking so great friends all right these are a2 by aerosols that's a decent brand comfort shoe brand these actually don't look to have been worn very much they're very tiny oh dogs outside we let them in babe um well maybe they didn't list them because there's no size oh there is hold on i have to completely unbuckle them to, to see it these are size six, all man-made. So if you're ever looking for the size of this brand, they're in there. I don't know. I'll see if these are even something that's selling. All right, I've got a pair of, these kind of, these kind of shoes had a moment when cottage core stuff first came back in. What are they? BP. Size nine. Ooh, I think it's hard to read. It's like it's on this uh, canvasy type material, but I think that it says it's genuine leather upper. I'll have to do some more digging. BP, that's brass plum, right, from Nordstrom. So I think that these are the type that you can either wear all the way up or fold them down. Let's see the other one. I mean, if they're indeed real leather, I might use Wonder Balls them on them, but they were loved for sure. Oh no, look at the heel on back of the back of one of them. And you see how worn down the heel is? Whew, rough pickings in this box so far. Um, I'll look up comps and see if It's not getting any better right now, friends. Comfort Plus by Predictions. So this is like a cheapy Payless, I think maybe in Walmart. Someone tried to sell them for $7.49. But I will say I have sold some shoes like this. My mom gave me a bunch of her old shoes, but they were all size nine to 10, like lower end brands like Grasshoppers and stuff. Those sold and these are in okay shape. Oh, nope, spoke too soon again. Looks like someone's dog had some fun with that one. So that one's trash. This might, so 
so far be one of the worst shoe boxes I have ever received. All right. Where's the other? We've got a pair of Cole Hans. I think I got somebody's entire shoes that they sent in and Thread Up didn't want any of them because this is a size six also. These are some little Cole Haan loafers. They're a shiny patent. I don't, I'm just going to go with that they're real leather because most of them are, but I don't know for sure. The tops actually look all right. They were worn. They need like a magic eraser around the, and cleaning the uh, junk off the bottoms, but I feel like finally I can say I'll, I'll, I'll list those. All right, we've got another pair of very tiny, very dirty, women's size six. So yes, Susie Q out there sent her size six shoe collection that are super old, super gross and dirty. Like, look at this. They sent me like splooge um, instead of taking them to the, don they probably sent in a donation kit because they didn't want to drive to the uh, dump and thread up should have just, you know, recycled these, however it is that they recycle, but they didn't like, look at that. Ooh. I sent them in my box. So if these were in decent shape, these are a good $20 sale, like this style, but I, those, they're really nice memory foam. Like I bet they're really comfortable, but I don't know if I even want to take the time. Like the tops, I don't know. I like cleaning shoes if you're new here. I actually love cleaning shoes. Okay, please, there's supposed to be something decent. Nope. Massimo again. Now, no, I'm not hating on Target. I love me some Target and I have sold their shoes, but Massimo is old. These are size nine, all man-made. Before I even say if they're what condition they're in, let me look. Nope, there we go. So they're an okay style for the summer, maybe. Um, per a lot of Target shoes in these boxes look like they were maybe worn a handful of times or on one vacation or something. And they're like, these are not comfortable and they get rid of them, but they actually are okay. So I'll probably list them. Something in this box is making me itchy. Okay. We've got Nautica. Ooh, a size eight. Imagine that. These actually are probably so far in the best condition and you'll see they have black marks all the way around them. But, all right, I see a pair that could be okay. So, not okay. Maybe they sent me an extra pair. Okay. Oh, something decent, y'all. Towels. I love towels. These are actually really cute little Mary Jane style. This is a great brand to pick up. Um, it does have, well, it, they just need some Wonder Balls on them, actually. They are um, a suede upper, size nine. Let me make sure this one doesn't have a bite taken out of it. No, well, they're pretty good. They just, like the toe on that one's a little dark, but I will, is it suede? Like, I'll probably use my Doc Martens on them, but they're cute. Like if I had anywhere to go or I had a matching dress, I would even wear these. Maybe that makes me an, an older, mature person, but that's okay, I, I am. Two more pairs. Okay, let's do these because they're actually new. They're a new day from Target. Again, size six. So maybe the size six person actually had a couple decent look at little pairs. They retail for $34.99. They've got memory foam inside. They're a cute style. They zip up the sides. They are at least brand new. It's really sad that at this moment, the towels were good. Next to the towels, this is so far the best thing in the box. Okay, one pair left. Are they Sperry's? No, okay. So they tried to send me something decent. These are Sorrel's, which I love Sorrel, Sorrel, but Sorrel, yes. Somebody loved these, like these are worn. Like that's almost worn all the way through. They're a cute style for sure, like a little duck boot. They're a women's size eight. Like the inside logo is still good. Um, I'll definitely, well, let me, hold on. I will list them, but I'm not gonna make much because they're just 
super worn. Like there's maybe one or two more seasons out of these. I mean, I guess these would be great if you lived somewhere cold and you needed like a good water, most of, I think most or all of their shoes are waterproof uh, and you have chickens or like ducks like myself and you're just constantly going outside and you need a throw down pair, maybe. Well, that's the box guys. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And I got exactly 15 pairs. So you'll know what I spent down below. Worst box ever? No, because it's coming to mind. I had one box of all like garbage flip-flops. Like terrible, worst box ever. Uh, so definitely not the worst, but absolutely not one of the better ones. Uh, so stay tuned for a 90 day update on this one. Uh, will I make my money back? Yeah, maybe with the towels, hopefully. Um, but I will try to list, I will list everything that's listable and you know, those little sales are going to add up. Thankfully, I love listing shoes. It's my favorite category. They're the fastest for me to process, photograph, list, get them typed up. I could probably list all 15 pairs of these if they were clean. So an hour of cleaning time, photograph, put away and cross list in an hour. Um, so two hours worth of work. We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll have to report back on that one. So please give this video a thumbs up on your way out. Drop me a comment. Please subscribe if you're not. And to my fellow returning friends I've made here, thank you so much for always supporting and watching, even if it's not a category that you sell. I really do appreciate it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.